It's kind of a, a rebirth um, yeah. concept or um, purpose. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us. This is the second uh, Trash Talk <laughs> event, and it's called Trash Talk because I was actually doing a trash pickup, and during the trash pickup, um, there uh, it wasn't a, it was, I was the only one. So I, I, I had to make myself comfortable, so I started to freestyle. In the process of freestyling, I said, wouldn't this be cool to record, you know? But I said, not too many people have liked the idea of picking up other people's trash, uh -huh. even if it's in someone else's neighborhood or even their own. Uh -huh. So I had to be sensitive to that. And I said, well, maybe since I do spoken word, I can turn this into uh, uh, an environmental uh, uh, focus of another sort. Um, no words, that space. Um, when I do poetry, is, is kind of what I go by, no words. Mm -hmm. um, but where No Words, That Space is, is basically a project-based initiative that allows people to express themselves through creative and visual arts mm -hmm. with the um, environmental stewardship um, focus. Mm -hmm. And so the environmental part here is really about um, creating yourself, um, rebalancing yourself so that you can be a part of an environment. Um, and that becomes challenging when you have a lot coming at you. So. Um, it's reconstructing, today I'm sharing some thoughts that I reconstructed um, into meaningful messages uh, for myself and hopefully for other people. Um, so President, today's President's Day, yeah. and President Roosevelt believed in freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. And we don't want to lose those freedoms, but what we do want to do is respect the beliefs of others that might be different from our own. And um, there's the next Trash Talk series of events happening on March 1st, which is Women's History Month, and um, another Race in Me art exhibition, um, which is something a little bit different. And that's going to be at Things from Egypt's store in Tacoma Park, Maryland, um, beginning uh, towards the end of this uh, week. So I'll follow up with you all about that as well. Um, why here at this location? Um, Good Hope Road, I'm reminded to reconnect with my good heart and travel light as possible when feeling heavy and slow. Hope keeps popping up in thought as I think back to when I wrote that letter to my father and shared it to the audience at a poetry reading way back when at Bar None off of U Street, Northwest in Washington, DC. I was nervous then too, so please bear with me. And he has since joined us and me at this uh, event and the previous one um, and sang a beautiful song and I'll share that online soon, but right now, we're right around the corner from Martin Luther King Avenue, and he believed in our freedoms also, so why not exercise them? So this one is called The Monkey Herder. I'm sorry, Luther King, mm. can you um, turn that off, please? Mm. So I think it might um, distract not only me, but other people. This, this jazz. Blues. Yeah, it's great, it's great, but you know, it might not flow with everybody's flow, you know what I'm saying? So, so the, you could just unplug it underneath the table. Thank you. Under the table. Under the table, you can unplug it. That way we can make sure. Yeah. The monkey herder. Seeing no evil, speaking no evil, and hearing no evil requires a lot of work. I might not be the best driver of those who want to run me over and be the first. Facilitating all that there is that doesn't fit into the above categories is an upheaval making me feel skittish, like I was supposed to be despicable, even at times making me want to be despicable. Wondering which black person is better and where I fit in line. By some not living up to my own ancestors' path set before me, so I imagined a new image in mine. Got caution signs, sidetracking to gain perspectives as they sneak in front of me. Hollywood out, feeling wind blowing at me, wondering if those sights and sounds were only meant for a B. Feeling blessed to have an opportunity nearby, not always agreeing, getting along or seeing what it is that I see. 
With someone else's vision taking hold, driving me off the road into a ditch, stopped, redirected without a sound, is where I'm deemed to be. Calling out loud to piss you off so you can hear. It's me, life, alive. Why can't you tell when it's me? Feeling way down as fight has no riser to catapult me for claps and pounds from thousands that come around. My poor little me pouts without a sound, recalling my own pity pity wah wah poem calling out to taunt me. Disturbing sounds like an animal catching me awake in a midnight dream, barely breathing, as I catch a glimpse of what it is I could be, as I bring a near to cuddle, thankful for awakening me. Don't have time for saddening thoughts or early demolitioning, embodying sounds, while I'm scheduled to live here while I'm here, and then live clear when I'm there, then live with you when our bodies call each other for clean air. And sleep calls the few relatives on watch in case I start dreaming I'm a rapper caught on some kind of concert piano show, making me feel like I want to know. Then changing to a background dancer gyrating with my big fro, explaining she was just dreaming, I think. Was that even her? I don't know. Ambient noise is too heavy, so I keep my concerns to myself. Too many songs as chants on repeat help to redefine my wealth. Too young, too short, too high or goofy for me, except when my off days catches a glimpse and he sends me on my save. Not for sexual purposes, though. Do you remember when I believed in my own life and now look at me as I'm waving on this moving tunnel cake like in a dream video as he smiles at me on his low as if on TV catching cruel behaviors covered by niceties on peaks like a slow not sure what I'm talking about I'll make more art because right now I'm overwhelmed by what I think I'm supposed to know